So once you've done your paper, how do you submit your work? Well, that's just a question of taking photos on your phone. But let's be let's just pause a minute there, because this is an example of what we do not want to receive. We do not want an email with loads and loads of different photos attached of a single piece of paper, because that is just unmanageable for us. It's very, very difficult to mark. And as you can see um, here, the photos are really untidy at funny angles and so on and so forth. Now, there's a very easy way of dealing with that. And there are a couple of apps that can help you to do that. What we want is we want a single PDF file. So these two pages here are in the same file. And you'll see that each of the pages has been very neatly cropped to size. So no photos of desks and tables and so on. One of the apps uh, that does this for you is CamScanner. Uh, it auto crops the pages. You can see the pages there have been auto cropped. And you can see that it's each time a new page is added, it's still within the same document. Very similar app, Tiny Scanner, And there we have it, uh, auto cropping uh, a page. You don't have to do the cropping, it does it for you. Once you've created your scanned work, just email it to your teacher uh, with the email title, final mock exam. Before the exam window closes, the teacher will acknowledge receipt and then we can go ahead and mark it. Now it's unusual for us to recommend two apps, um, Tiny Scanner or Cam Scanner, either will do. Um, we've had students who've got on with one, but not really with the other and vice versa. So you've got a few days now to try out which app works for you. One thing that's very important though, both of these are free. So make sure that you only use the free versions. You should not even be giving them your email address when installing the app. 